I love the Andes. Where are we? This is so insane. This is so cool. We left home to travel the world and brought work with us. Follow the journey as we immerse ourselves in cultures around the globe and inspire others to do the same. We're Brandon and Aaron. Subscribe and stay tuned. So we had to take a taxi to Termino Terrestre where we're catching a bus that'll take us to Cajas National Park. I think the bus will take about 45 minutes to an hour and then we'll have the day to explore. It only costs us four dollars total to take the bus for it to take a tour. Would it cost like a hundred dollars at least? Cajas National Park is located 30 kilometers west of Cuenca and was declared a national park in 1996. With 13 different established hiking trails ranging from one day to multi day treks, there are plenty of options for all types of hikers. So we are in Cajas National Park. And we are about to do the pink colored trail, which is the Route 1 trail. We're heading around this lake, up to the mountains, and it's not an up and back. We'll take a bus back down. It's about a four hour hike, I believe. And already we have stunning views. I just wish it was a little warmer. Hopefully the sun will come out later. We are both breaking in our new hiking boots. <laughs> both got Merrells. It is pretty windy here and it's just making it even colder. So I think we're gonna try to start hiking a little faster, get the blood flowing. So our hands aren't so cold. It's really my ears that are really cold. What do you think, Bran? So beautiful. Every step we take is like another incredible view. I love the Andes. And I have a bad reputation with rivers, so here we go. Ah! <laughs> So cool seeing all these different types of plants. There are some really pretty um, little flowers. There's these really weird looking pineapple cactus things over here. Finally! This is so oh my god. <gasps> what? Oh my god. Where? are we this is so insane this is so cool we turn a corner and we're in this cool like forest we found a cave that looks sick in this crazy tree forest Whoa. It's super muddy here um, and these roots that are on the floor are ground are pretty slippery, so taking it slow. Babe, you have to see this. This is so sick. This hike is so cool. I love the type of hikes where everywhere you're going, you can have a view rather than reaching the top of a mountain and then there's your vista. And over here, we've got a rock that seems to be split in half by lightning or thunder, or earthquake. What does Cueva mean? Maybe we could translate that. 
cave. Cave. If we wanted to do a cave. Do you want to go in the cave? Not really. Here. You know what lives in caves? Bears. Well, and it is winter. How it's does Aaron hibernate. feel about that? We can look into the forest, but I don't want to go like in the cave. Okay. Getting creeped out for some reason. <laughs> Go that <bad> feeling. <laughs> no case for Aaron. Got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> So we may have lost the trail. Brian went up uh, ahead to see if he sees any of the pink posts. What do you see, Brian? So we just finished lunch. Our hands are now freezing. We stopped in a very windy spot. Very beautiful, very windy. And now our fingers are so cold, so we're gonna keep walking and try to finish this hike. I think we have maybe less than a mile left. We see the road. So we're back on the trail. We found it. We lost it for a little while. I don't know how, but we finally have a pink sign. We got a nice bridge and we're on the way home. So, we've come to a fork in the road. There's two different directions we could go. Thank Both with pink trails. Thankfully, we found another guy on the trail and he had a map. So he showed us that one of the trails goes back to the visitor center and another one just goes to the side of the road. But we were supposed to take the route that goes just to the side of the road and then we can hail a bus. So, I think that's what we're gonna do. It seems a little counterintuitive, but that's all right. I think it's gonna be much shorter and hopefully we can catch a bus. And we have this lovely sign. It's a glimmer of hope. Vamanos. We just have to find out what to do. So we're just gonna start heading this way because we know this is the way towards Cuenca. There's a pretty bad curve right here. So we don't wanna be on the opposite side of the road and then get struck by a bus. So we're gonna just walk down this way for quite a while and then see what happens. So we are currently on the side of the road. We followed the path that the guide told us we should go on. And now we're waiting for a bus, like uh, some hobo drifters. <laughs> this is not a bus stop. No, no. Nor do we know what's actually... No, we know a bus is going to come, 
We saw a bus going in the opposite direction to Guayaquil, so th there will be one. We just don't know how this is going to work. back from Cajas National Park. Obviously we've showered, changed. I highly recommend it. I definitely recommend just taking the bus. It was so easy. It was so affordable. We only spent $9.50 getting to Cajas National Park together. And that's with the taxi ride to the bus terminal. In the right. Morning. Terminal Terrestre, which is where you'll get the bus to go to Cajas National Park. The company is called Occidental. We'll put all this in the description below if you're interested in doing a trip like this. But again, highly recommend. Had a great day. When you go to Cajas National Park, everyone has to go to the visitor center to register. They take your information, your name, your age, what trails you are planning on doing, which makes sense in case anyone goes missing. We did Route 1, which was super close to the visitor center. And it was such an amazing hike. Yes. The views were breathtaking throughout the entire trip. And it was moderate, which was nice. So it wasn't yeah. like we were dying. I feel like in our other two hikes in Ecuador so far, Ruco Pichincha and Quilatoa, after we were dead. Hotter than Lost City, Grand Canyon. The elevation kills because the hikes were super challenging, which is great. And that's just a totally a different vibe, a different way to hike. So it was nice today just to go like a moderate hike, beautiful views. If you want to just enjoy your day, take a nice stroll through absolutely beautiful scenery, mountains, lakes, rivers, forests, do route one. Everything, it had everything. Now we're going to Parque de la Madre. We're going to have some food, maybe go to a brewery later. Um, but this is a park that our Spanish teacher highly recommended. So. Shout out Sol. Hey Sol, not the sun, the person. <laughs> if you're new here, we put out new videos every Sunday. So go ahead and subscribe so that you're alerted for all of our videos when they come out. And give us a thumbs up. Stay tuned. We'll see you next week. All right, sit down. I'm sitting down. Yeah, they're like, put your hands on me. Echo! Echo! Is this okay? Can I cross my knee? Yeah, you're probably way above the brain. Just... What is me crossing my knee? <laughs> no, that's fine. Things I do for love.